I give Jerry the best years of my life. I get glazed nuts. <laughs> the series gained popularity for its relatable storylines and witty humor, but it also stirred controversy with a particular scene that left a lasting impact. In one episode, the central character faced a moral dilemma that challenged social norms of the time. This unexpected moment sparked discussions about the portrayal of women and the boundaries of comedy. Viewers were divided, with some praising the show for addressing important issues, while others criticized it for pushing too far. The backlash from certain groups escalated, leading to heated debates in the media about the show's direction. Producers found themselves in a tough spot, balancing creative expression with audience expectations. Ultimately, the controversy surrounding this scene became a turning point, contributing to the decision to end the show sooner than anticipated. The legacy of this moment reveals how television can reflect and influence societal values, illustrating the thin line between entertainment and social commentary. Boy, is my throat tired. Boy, you haven't said anything. Exactly. Marlo Thomas was not the first choice for Anne Marie, but eventually became synonymous with the character. The show was originally titled Miss Independences, but changed to That Girl Due to Concerns Over Feminism. Marlo Thomas's portrayal of Anne Marie captured the hearts of viewers, solidifying her place in television history. The decision to change the title of the show to That Girl reflected the shifting cultural landscape of the time. It allowed the series to embrace a more feminist message while still maintaining its charm and appeal to a wide audience. The show's success with Marlo Thomas in the lead role showcased the power of strong casting choices in defining the legacy of a beloved TV series. Bad. I got this great bit about a girl monkey at a dance. And none of them. Filmed in Hollywood, the show featured separate shots of New York City, creating a vibrant backdrop for its storyline. The theme song, crafted by Earl Hagen and Sam Denoff, became a hit, resonating with audiences and contributing to the show's charm. Marlo Thomas not only starred in the series but also took on the role of producer, a significant achievement for a female actress during that era. This dual role highlighted her influence in the television industry and her commitment to the characters she portrayed. Her performance as Anne Marie, a young woman aspiring to be an actress, captured the spirit of the 1960s, showcasing the challenges and triumphs of a modern woman. The combination of engaging storytelling, memorable music, and Thomas's groundbreaking role helped the series stand out in television history, making it a beloved classic that continues to be appreciated for its cultural impact and representation of a women's empowerment. What? Right here, where Michael tells Rosemary he's got the stomach flu. In 1966, that girl tackled controversial topics such as premarital sex and women's rights, even facing death threats due to an episode on birth control. Anne Marie's wardrobe in the show captured the evolving times, making her a style icon and highlighting Marlo Thomas's fashion influence on the series. This classic not only pushed boundaries with its social themes, but also left a lasting impact on the era's fashion trends. Hey, that's our phone! <laughs> now, let's pull this up and see what it looks like. During its run, the TV series featured appearances from actors who later became stars, such as Ted Bissell, Bernie Coppell, and George Carlin. However, despite its notable guest stars, the show faced tough competition and a shift in network focus, leading to its cancellation after five seasons. An intriguing aspect of its conclusion was how the main characters remained engaged, challenging traditional gender roles of the time. This classic left a lasting impact on television and viewers alike, showcasing dynamic storytelling and memorable performances. Proceed. With my story or with my objection? With your... Marlo Thomas's legacy and personal life. Marlo Thomas's portrayal of Anne Marie on that girl earned her accolades, including a Golden Globe. She continued her career in acting, producing, and activism, eventually receiving the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2014. Thomas married talk show host Phil Donahue in 1980 and has been active in social and philanthropic causes together, reflecting her dedication to societal progress. Everybody out of here and stop remodeling and doing things. I can't stop, lady. I have my orders from Mr. Miller. Certainly. The TV series That Girl from 1966 had a significant impact and left a lasting legacy. It was one of the first shows to portray an independent young woman pursuing her dreams in New York City. This classic show challenged traditional gender roles and inspired many viewers. Today, it remains relevant because of its progressive themes and timeless message of empowerment. 
The character of Anne Marie, played by Marlo Thomas, continues to resonate with audiences as a strong, confident woman breaking barriers in a rapidly changing world. The show's focus on women's independence and career aspirations paved the way for future female led television programs, making it an important piece of television history that continues to influence modern storytelling. I got all nervous. He dropped his hat and I started acting nutty and saying strange things and. The casting process for the 1966 TV series That Girl Was Meticulous and involved rigorous auditions to find the perfect actors for each key role. Marlo Thomas was selected to play the lead role of Anne Marie after a series of auditions where her charm, wit, and acting skills shone through. Ted Bissell, who played her boyfriend Donald Hollinger, impressed the casting directors with his chemistry and comedic timing during his audition. Lou Parker was chosen for the role of Anne's father, showcasing his warmth and paternal presence. The chemistry between Marlo Thomas and Ted Bissell was a pivotal factor in their casting, as the dynamic between their characters was central to the show's success. The actors' ability to play off each other and create a believable romantic relationship was crucial in making the show captivating for the audience. Overall, the casting for that girl was a careful process that aimed to bring together a talented ensemble to bring the characters to life on screen. He reads to the blind. Honey, how do you know all of this? Well, I've got this friend who works part-time as a waitress at Shrek. The directorial vision behind the 1966 TV series That Girl was characterized by a fresh and lively approach to storytelling. The director aimed to create a relatable, modern female protagonist, reflecting the aspirations and challenges of young women in that era. Influenced by the rising feminist movement, the series offered a comedic yet realistic portrayal of a woman pursuing her dreams in a male-dominated world. The director emphasized a light-hearted, upbeat tone, using vibrant colors and lively music to enhance the storytelling. Collaboration with the cast and crew was vital. The director fostered an environment where actors felt free to explore their characters, encouraging improvisation to capture genuine moments. This approach helped to create a dynamic chemistry among the cast, particularly with the lead actress, who embodied the character with charm and wit. The use of innovative camera angles and quick cuts kept the pace engaging, making each episode feel fresh and fun. By blending humor with poignant themes, the director brought to life a series that resonated with audiences and became a cultural touchstone. Ours. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Maybe, but it's a weird feeling to be... During the production of the 1966 TV series That Girl, the set design was carefully crafted to reflect the trendy and vibrant feel of the era. The locations chosen for filming captured the essence of bustling city life, showcasing iconic landmarks and bustling streets. Logistical challenges included coordinating complex scenes in busy urban environments, while ensuring the safety of the cast and crew. Innovative techniques were employed to enhance the production value of the show. Advanced camera movements and creative lighting setups were used to create visually engaging scenes. Additionally, the use of portable cameras allowed for greater flexibility in capturing spontaneous moments on location. These advancements helped bring the world of that girl to life on screen. What did you do? You came here in the middle of the night. <laughs> the music in the 1966 TV series That Girl was carefully crafted to enhance the narrative and emotional tone of the show. Composers and musicians worked diligently to create a soundtrack that perfectly complemented the storylines and characters. The upbeat and stylish theme song set the tone for each episode, reflecting the vibrant and optimistic spirit of the lead character. Background music was used strategically to heighten suspense, evoke romance or underscore moments of comedy. The composers understood the importance of music in enhancing the viewer's experience and worked closely with the creators to ensure a seamless integration of sound and story. Musicians brought the score to life with their performances, adding depth and emotion to key scenes. Their talent and dedication contributed to the overall success of the series, leaving a lasting impact on audiences. Here again. <laughs> Delving into the iconic scenes of the 1966 TV series That Girl, one can observe how the direction by Gary Marshall shapes the light-hearted yet meaningful narrative. Marlo Thomas, portraying Anne Marie, delivers performances that blend innocence and ambition, captivating audiences as she navigates life in New York City. The cinematography often highlights the vibrant city backdrop, enhancing the charm of Anne's journey. 
One memorable scene features Anne auditioning for a commercial, showcasing her comedic timing and determination. This moment resonates with viewers, reflecting the struggles of pursuing dreams in a competitive world. Commentary from Marlo Thomas reveals how these scenes were crafted to empower young women, making them feel seen and heard. Additionally, the use of bright colors and upbeat music amplifies the show's optimistic tone, leaving a lasting impression on its audience. Each scene serves not only to entertain but to inspire, ultimately contributing to the show's legacy. The King of Kuali, Tamaris Cohen, a waiter. The apology from Anne-Marie to the people of Kuali. That girl had a significant impact on culture and society when it first aired in 1966. The show starred Marlo Thomas as Anne-Marie, an aspiring actress navigating life in New York City. Viewers connected with Anne's journey as she pursued her dreams while balancing her personal life. This character broke the mold of traditional female roles on television, showcasing a young woman who was ambitious, independent, and relatable. In many ways, the series reflected the changing attitudes of the 1960s, especially regarding women's roles in society. Anne's character resonated with the growing feminist movement. She represented a shift from the typical housewife to a woman seeking her own identity and career. The show also featured strong friendships and supportive relationships, promoting the idea of women uplifting each other. As pop culture evolved, that girl inspired fashion trends, with Anne's iconic hairstyles and outfits becoming widely imitated. The show also influenced other media, paving the way for future female-led series. Its themes of ambition, friendship, and independence spark discussions about gender roles that continue to be relevant today, making it a cultural landmark in television history. This is Donald, I can't find my purse. Uh, which one is it? The 1966 TV series That Girl received positive critical reception for its fresh and comedic approach to portraying the life of an aspiring actress in New York City. Critics praised Marlo Thomas's performance as the lead character, Anne Marie, for her charm and wit. Audience reactions were similarly enthusiastic, with viewers appreciating the show's humor and relatable storyline. That girl garnered several awards and nominations during its run, including a Golden Globe Award for Best TV Show and a Primetime Emmy Award nomination for Outstanding Continued Performance by an Actress in a Leading Role. These accolades recognize the show's impact on television and the talent of the cast and crew involved. For those involved in the production of That Girl, these awards and nominations signified a validation of their hard work and creativity. It acknowledged their dedication to creating a show that resonated with audiences and stood out in the television landscape of the time. The accolades brought attention to the talent behind the series and boosted their careers in the industry. Listen to my voice and completely relax your body. And before you know it, you'll feel yourself getting tired during the filming of That Girl, Marlo Thomas, who played the lead role of Anne Marie, had a unique rule on set. She insisted that the crew refer to her character as Anne when the cameras were not rolling to help her stay in character. Ted Bissell, who portrayed her boyfriend Donald Hollinger, was known for his humorous antics offset. He once pranked the crew by pretending to be a demanding director, much to everyone's amusement. Another interesting tidbit is that the show's creator, Bill Persky, would often incorporate real-life events from the cast members into the show, adding a personal touch to the episodes. About European women, you know, sex appeal. <laughs> yeah, you might say that. The series That Girl, which debuted in 1966, left a significant mark on television and film history. It showcased the life of a young woman, played by Marlo Thomas, striving to make it as an actress in New York City. This portrayal offered a fresh perspective on women's independence an ambition during a time when traditional roles were prevalent. Its influence can be seen in later shows with strong female leads, such as the Mary Tyler Moore Show and Friends, which continue the trend of independent women navigating personal and professional lives. Moreover, that girl helped pave the way for more nuanced female characters in comedy. The show's focus on the challenges and triumphs of a single woman resonated with audiences and inspired many future projects. The relatable storylines and lighthearted approach opened doors for filmmakers and writers to explore women's stories more deeply. The series also became a cultural touchstone, reflecting societal changes regarding gender roles. Its legacy continues to inspire creators today, encouraging them to tell stories that celebrate women's journeys and aspirations in a variety of settings. Oh my gosh! That's Freddie Dunlap's mother's ring! Who's Freddie Dunlap? 
when reminiscing about the 1966 TV series That Girl. Many people recall how it illuminated the screen with its charm and wit. The show, with its focus on an independent young woman making her way in the world, resonated with audiences, inspiring a new way of thinking about gender roles. Some viewers may have seen themselves in the characters or found motivation to pursue their dreams. Sharing personal stories or reflections on how that girl influenced one's perspective on cinema can spark intriguing conversations and connections among fans. By engaging with likes, shares, and subscriptions, we invite a community of cinephiles to join in the exploration of how this classic series continues to impact us today. And the pot of net is pretty big. I know. Don't worry about it, though. I'll